It was about 2000 and we were making our second record. We were struggling trying to find what our record label and manager at the time thought was a hit. Uh, also, it was a hard time for me to be inspired because my mother had passed away just recently. And Columbia Records, a guy called Donnie Einer who was running things, he basically was calling a meeting for me. I had to go to New York in three days to meet with him. So I went to sleep that night and woke up and I had every single word and every melody done. The next day, a friend of mine helped me demo it. The next day, I flew to New York. And I didn't think it was something that anyone would care about at the time. Donnie started to talk to me about, hey, you know, this is what's gonna happen. We, we need a hit, you know, have that on this record. You know, here's why I think that. And I was really disappointed, but I had a CD in my pocket and I was like, what do you think? So he played it and he shut his eyes and he was listening to it. He just went, whoa, song of the year. We went from no hits to possibly having a special one. So I feel like my mom wrote that song and sent it to me and it's been 20 years. So where's the next one, mom? You know what I mean? I, <laughs> I'm thinking like, I need Drops of Jupiter part two. Let's go.